Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 25-minute drop set glute, quad, and inner thigh workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells, whatever you have, grab them. For resistance reference, I have a pair of 25-pound dumbbells and 20-pound dumbbells, but you and I are different, so I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining great form throughout. You will also need a bench. Now, I have a workout bench, and if you don't have a workout bench, we can find stuff around us right now that you can use for this workout. You can use a chair, just make sure the back of the chair is up against a wall. You can use a stool, a sturdy ottoman, maybe even a cooler. If you have a set of stairs around, that would work as well. Again, you don't need a workout bench. We can get creative with what we have around us today as well. You will also need a mat. And then if you have something around like this, I want you to grab that as well. So you can grab a set of plates, workout plates, not dishes plates. You can use books. We're just using something right around an inch to elevate our heels for a squat variation today. So if you don't have this incline available to you, just do it with feet flat on the mat. That'll work just fine as well. And lastly, you probably should have, I don't, but I think of water, uh, hydration, something for hydration around and a towel around as well. I'm gonna get that water though. Today's focus is all about the glutes, the quads and the adductors or inner thighs. Now we will be working your core throughout because our core works to help stabilize the hips and the spine. Core is also working as a secondary muscle group as well as the hamstrings and calves will be hitting that as a second secondary muscle group as well, with the main stars of the show, quads, inner thighs, and booty. Today's format, we have superset drop sets. So the first exercise will be the more challenging variation of the two. And for that exercise, I want you to challenge, really challenge yourself with the weight selection. Control the tempo, challenge yourself with the weights. I really want you to, towards the end of the 60 seconds, feel like you could only do about two more reps, if that. Because after that 60 seconds is up, we're going to drop one dumbbell. We're cutting the weight in half. And then we're going to continue on and do our drop. Now our drop will be 60 seconds long, but we're dividing it up into 30 30 so we have two minutes of total work first minute challenging heavier weight then we drop the resistance we'll drop one dumbbell so we're cutting that weight in half we do 30 seconds of one variation 30 seconds of another variation two minutes total work time 15 seconds to recover before we hit a new superset. Now it is non-repeat today, but we have a ton, a ton of unilateral movements today, meaning one side of the body. So if we're doing one side, we got to match it on the other side as well. If you know you have a weaker side, which a lot of us do, I want you to do that side first. You may not have a weaker side first. So if that's the case, do whatever side you want to. I'll be cueing left side first. So we have a ton of squat and lunge patterns. This is a, a dumbbell only workout. So we're we're using squat and lunge patterns to really hone in on your quad and your inner thigh and your glutes today. Keep good form throughout. Make sure you have a nice, sturdy, stable surface with your feet. Make sure you're planted. Have that tripod stance. Make sure those knees aren't caving inward. Keep the knees stacked over your ankles. You also do not have to go with my range of motion. You may be able to go lower than I can on some movements. You may not be able to go as low as I can on some movements. So find a range of motion that feels good for you. Just really hone in on the muscle groups. I'm telling you where we should feel it. Enough of me talking, grab all your stuff and let's get to work. Our first exercise today, dumbbell step ups. So I'll be using 20 pounds to start with. This is our warm up. So make sure you find a weight selection that you can keep really good form with. If you need to go lighter, please go lighter. So you're gonna have one dumbbell in each hand. Make sure your heel is entirely planted on the surface. I want you to drive up with the glutes and then control it down. Try to use that back leg as little as possible. We're working on warming up your glute, a little quad action as well. This begins your workout, dumbbell step ups. In three, two, and one, we're gonna start with the left, or at least I'm starting with the left. Drive through the heel, control it down. Again, try to use that back foot as little as possible. Let's get that left glute fired up. Keep your core tight throughout.
in about 10 seconds, we'll release one of these dumbbells and we have dumbbell toe taps. So we'll start at the top of our bench. One more rep and three, two, and one, release one dumbbell, hold it on the chest. Now we go three, two, barely tap that right toe, drive it up. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. In 10 seconds, we go back to step ups. We're gonna add a knee in, normal tempo, just a couple more reps here. And three, two, and one, step it up, knee in. Try not to push off with that back leg. Again, it's all in that left glute and it should be nice and warm right now. Last three, two, and one, we match on the other side, coming up next. Right foot goes on the bench. Make sure your entire heel is on the bench. Really drive through the heel, control it down. Try to use that back leg as little as possible. Make sure that core stays nice and tight and active throughout. That'll help stabilize the spine and that'll help keep the spine in a neutral position as well as your hips and pelvis in a neutral position. In 10 seconds, we release one dumbbell. We start at the top for our toe taps. One more rep. And three, two, release one dumbbell. Make sure that dumbbell is planted. It's not gonna roll on you. Three, two, one, and tap. Drive it up. And if your bench or your chair is super high, you may not be able to tap the toe fully. That's okay. Just go down as far as your body will allow. Here we go. Step up to knee in. Let's do it. Last three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, next up we have a lateral lunge. We'll do left and then right. I'm gonna use 25 pounds for this superset. Left leg moves, let's go. Control it down, drive it up. Control, 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 drive it up. Hinge from the hips, hips go back, neutral spine. Don't let the spine start to round. Keep it tight, keep it neutral. You got it, keep that form locked in. We're challenging ourselves with the weight selection right here. We're halfway through in 30 seconds. We release to one dumbbell only. In 10 seconds, we make the drop. We'll do a static lateral lunge. One to a quarter rep, only one dumbbell. And three, two, release one dumbbell, hold it. We go quarter rep at the bottom, drive it up. Quarter rep at the bottom, wow, drive it up. Slight external rotation of that hip, drive it up. Your glute, your quad, 
your inner thigh. This all work and core stays tight to help stabilize the hips. Breathe through it. Five seconds till we go normal tempo. In three, two, rep it out. 30 seconds. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> Other side is next. Lateral lunge, control it on the way down. Other side, let's go. Think about sending the hips back, back, back. In 10 seconds, we make the drop. One more rep. Drop it, one to a quarter rep. Let's go. We wrap it out normal tempo in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Wow. All right. Next up, bilateral movement. It's a squat, two dumbbells inside of the inner thighs, a little wider than shoulder width, slight external rotation. Slight being the key word. Three second eccentric and concentric. Three, two, one. Take it up for three, two. Don't lock those knees out. Core stays tight. Three, two, one. Take it up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Use the glutes to drive it up for three, two, one. Make sure those knees don't cave in on the way up. Next up, we release one of those dumbbells, one to a quarter rep, and three, two, release at the bottom, both hands, quarter rep, bring it up, lock out now. Quarter rep, bring it up. Normal tempo in three, two, rep it out, 30 seconds. Yeah. 
Last three, two, and one. Bulgarians are next, oh my goodness. I'm gonna be ambitious. 25s to start. Left foot forward, right foot back. Slight hinge forward. Grab those dumbbells from the bottom. Take it up, take it down for three, two, one. Drive it up. Three, two, one. Drive it up. You're gonna feel this in your quads, in your glutes, core is stabilizing. To feel it more in your glutes, you can hinge forward a little bit more. To feel it more in your quads, you can stay upright a little bit more. In 10 seconds, we release one dumbbell and we have a reverse lunge. So we'll come forward. We're not using the bench for the reverse lunge. In three, two, wow. And one, release one dumbbell. Right hand has the dumbbell, right foot goes back. Then bring it up. If needed, you can use something to help stabilize with this off hand. Make sure your stance isn't too narrow and you're not standing on that balance beam. You're standing on those railroad tracks. Hold it back. Static lunge, straight up, straight down. Last three, two, and one. Other side is next. Here we go. Grab those dumbbells from the bottom. Bring it up. Slow, controlled, eccentric. Next up, we release one dumbbell. Reverse lunges are next. Stay with me. In three, two, and one. One dumbbell down. Left hand has the dumbbell. Reverse lunge. Use this off hand to help stabilize if needed. I know our breath, at least my breath, is, is getting very shallow. Keep the core tight maintain that core activation throughout. Even though it's hard, I know we can do it. Next up, static lunge in three, two, straight up, straight down. Stay with me, 25 seconds. Then we get a longer break, just a smidge. Last three, two, and one. Longer break. What I need you to do, get your incline, your bucks, your plates, and set them up a little wider than hip distance. We'll be placing our heels there. All right, we have front loaded squats 
And then we'll drop one weight and go into goblet squats. So bring the dumbbells to the chest. Heels are elevated. Now we're going to take it down for three, two, one. Drive it up. Three, two, one drive it up. The purpose of the heels being elevated is it's going to allow for a deeper range of motion, meaning more knee flexion. And that's going to really hit more quads. So this is more of a quad biased squat. If you don't have the elevation, no worries. Do it with your heels on the ground. And if needed, you can always limit the range of motion as well. In about five seconds, we'll make the drop to one dumbbell for a goblet squat. One to a quarter rep, one dumbbell by the chest, quarter rep at the bottom, drive it up. So if you ever find yourself with your heels on the ground and not being able to go low without compromising your form, could be a number of things could be ankle mobility. For me, it's definitely ankle mobility. So this will allow us to go deeper. Normal tempo, let's get it. Also, just due to your anatomy, you may not be able to go butt to the ground. People with long femurs, it's rather difficult to do that, again, without compromising form, rounding the spine, and or rounding the pelvis. Last three, two, one more rep, and one. Nice, wow. Copenhagen planks are next. Every 30 seconds, we switch it up because Copenhagen planks are hard. We start with the most challenging variation. Copenhagen plank hold, top foot goes on the bench, bottom foot comes up. We're here for 30 seconds, squeeze it. If needed, use this hand to help assist. This one's tough. This is all about really working and isolating those inner thighs. The more you press in with that top foot, the more that inner thigh is gonna fire up. This is also a great, a great exercise to help strengthen the area surrounding the knee. Copenhagen plank ups, let's go, first drop. You're pressing into the bench, squeezing with the bottom little break recovery time at the bottom of this movement. 15 more seconds and then we'll shorten the lever. We'll repeat this, but on our knees. So we'll bring the knee into the bench. If that's uncomfortable or you want the challenge, you can stay with the previous two variations. Here we go, Copenhagen plank hold. We drop and squeeze. Now, if this is uncomfortable on your top knee, grab your towel place it under that top knee for cushion. Wow, my inner thighs are getting more, this is more uh, my muscle connection for me on my inner thighs, less on the core, but wow, hold it, come on. Copenhagen plank ups on the knee, 30 seconds is where we end. Last three, two, and one. All right, 15 seconds, we're gonna do the other side. You can face away. I'm just going to switch really quickly, maybe, the position of the bench. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Copenhagen plank ups on the other side. We hold, not plank ups. Copenhagen plank hold, can't talk. When my heart rate goes high, my brain can't focus. Stay with me, we are almost done. Second to last superset.
glasses are fogging up. Hard for me to see the timer. We go to Copenhagen plank ups. And three, two, and one. Next up, we make the drop to our knees. We hold with a shortened lever in three, two, and one. Scoot it on in. If it's uncomfortable on your knee, grab it. I'll show you what it would look like. Just like so. Ooh, a lot more comfort. Com com comfortable lower. It burns. Squeeze. 10 seconds, then it's plank up. Three, two, one, up and down, 30 seconds. Final 10, I'm right there with you. Crying on the inside, but we're gonna fight through it because change doesn't happen in our comfort zone. Come on, last three, two, and one. Ha! Sumo squats to end with. Two dumbbells, wide stance, heels and toes out. Slow, eccentric. Wide stance. Three, two, one, drive it up. This wide stance, external rotation, really targeting your adductors, also known as your inner thighs. Quads are working, your glutes are working, core is helping to stabilize, and your hamstrings and your calves have been getting work throughout as well. Again, the quads, the inner thighs, the glutes have just been the main focus today. We drop to one dumbbell, one to a quarter rep in three, two, and one. Pulse at the bottom, drive it up. Quarter rep, then drive. Inhale, exhale on the way up. I want you to really just feel the glutes, squeeze the glutes to bring it up. Quads are working, you can feel those inner thighs drive you up as well. 10 seconds so we go to normal tempo. Normal tempo in three, two, and one, 30 seconds. Breathe through at 10 seconds, then we drop the dumbbell and we pulse at the bottom. And three, two, one, just pulse. We're not done in five seconds. We hold at the bottom. And three, two, and one, 15 second hold. One inch lower. One inch lower. We got this. Last three, two, one. We're done. We're done. High five. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's uh, show this quad some TLC. Use something to help stabilize because we need some help right now. Mentally, emotionally, physically. <laughs> yes. All right. Let the breath slow down. Be careful of the dumbbells. Just make sure you know where you're stepping. 
especially when we're pretty fatigued like this. Slow the breath down. And let's take it to figure four stretch. Cross one ankle, hinge it back, gently press against that inner thigh. And when you're ready, let's take it to the other side. We'll place one foot on our bench next, doesn't matter which side. We'll do both. Again, make sure that dumbbell is out of the way. Square off the hips, neutral. Take the opposing hand up and over. You'll feel a big stretch along the sides into the hip flexor and down into the quad. Big deep inhale on the exhale, turn towards me, straighten the leg that's on the bench and just hinge it back. Sorry for the view. <laughs> or you're welcome for the view, however you wanna look at it. Sorry, and you're welcome, depending depending on uh, depending on the person. My bad. <laughs> All right, other side. Talked a little bit more than I have been in recent videos, not past videos. Always uh, curious to, um, if y'all prefer the cues, the non-cues. I've made some videos that are non-talking and gotten mixed reviews on them. I get mixed reviews on the cues throughout. So everyone is different. Some people enjoy the cues. Some people do not. Some people could benefit from the cues, but they don't enjoy them. Some do. Everyone's different. Gotta love it. And that's what makes us all unique and different and special. All right. As long as you tried your best today, that's what matters most per usual. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for working out with me today. You rock. Be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. And most importantly, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.